Okay, let's start. Do, do, do. Last video was terrible. Start. Might might remake it in the future. I put a sad face beside it. So uh, let, let's see now. Okay, here we go. For the following exercises, find dy dx for the given function. Um, could we sec, cosec, cotan? We should find those derivatives first. So if we have sec x, the derivative that's one over cos x, this derivative. So that's cos x power minus one derivative. Or if you prefer, I'll use the quotient rule. So that's the bottom squared, um, the bottom times the root of the top minus the top times the root of the bottom. So sine x. So I'm not sure how we want to simplify it. Sine x over cos x is tan x, and then over cos x is sec x. So it's tan x, sec x. Um, and then cosec x derivative, that's one over sine x derivative. So that's the bottom squared, the bottom times the root of the top, minus the top times the root of the bottom. So cos over sine is cotan. Cos over sine, and then one over sine is cosec. So, okay, okay. And then uh, cotan x derivative, that's one over tan x derivative. Uh, which is cos over sine derivative, the bottom squared, the bottom times the derivative of the top, so that's minus sine squared, minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, that's cos squared x. So that's minus 1 over sine squared, which is cosec squared. Okay, so this one here, the derivative would be 2x, whoops, the derivative would be 2x minus sec x derivative. So that's tan x sec x plus 1. This derivative here would 3 cosec. So that's minus 3 cotan x cosec x minus 5 over x squared. This one here would be 2x cotan x plus x squared uh, times minus cosec squared x. This one here will be 1 minus 3x squared sine x minus x cubed cos x. This one here, the bottom squared, the bottom times the derivative of the top, um, the derivative of the top, the derivative of sec is tan x sec x. Bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom. Okay, and then 180 over here. Well, actually, Sine over sine times tan, tan is sine over cos. Oh, I can't really simplify it. So that would be cos x tan x plus sine x, and then tan x is cos x squared, isn't it? Isn't it? Or is it sec? Sorry, hang on. What's tan? 
sec, sec squared, isn't it? Sec squared x. 181. So y derivative would be 1 minus sine x times 1 minus sine x plus x plus cos x times, oh, this is funny, 1, 1, uh, no, sorry, minus, uh, minus cos. I'm, I'm not sure if we need to be simplifying these. Uh, 182, y derivative. Okay, so that's the bottom squared, the bottom times the derivative of the top, the sec squared, minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, minus sec becomes minus tan x sec x. And you can make a tan squared there if you wanted to. Whew. 183 y derivative is 1 plus cotan x squared and then 1 plus cotan x times uh, cos x squared minus 1 minus cotan x times minus cos x squared. Okay, and then 184, y derivative would be minus sine x, 1 plus cosec x, plus cosec x, times minus cotan x, cosec x. Now, I don't know if these need to be simplified. Let's have a look, 3.5. Okay, here we go. 2x minus sec x tan x. Yep. Uh, 177, 2x, 2x cotan x minus x squared cos x squared. Okay, good. Uh, 179, x squared x sec tan minus sec x sec tan minus sec. Yep. Yeah, 181, 1 minus sine x squared, minus cos x, cos x, x plus cos x, yep. 183, now they simplify it, so 2 cosec on the top, let's see if we could get that. That's cosec squared, there's a cosec squared and uh cosec squared cot cosec minus cot cosec so they cancel uh, cosec and cosec so two cosec is it yeah 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 so that is correct this can be this can be simplified to two cosec x for sure and then um that's it that's all i can check isn't it 175, 177, 179, 181, and 183. Okay, 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 okay. Um, and then we're straight into technology questions. Okay, let's let's do one eighty five to one ninety, I think.
Here we go. Okay. Minus sine x. And then the tangent. Now, how do we do tangent again? The tangent at zero. Minus x, it looks like. Let's let's see. That looks like a tangent line. Okay, so that is 185 done. 186 is cosec. Maybe I should define that. Then I can change this oh yeah it's uh pi over two isn't it Okay, let's graph, and then let's graph. Yeah, looks good, looks good. Okay. Next one is one plus cos x at three pi over two. One plus cos x, and then three pi over two. There we go, zoom out a little bit. There we go. Okay. Uh, sec x pi over four. Sec x pi over four. Okay, that looks good. Uh, x squared minus tan x. x squared minus tan x. That's at zero. Uh -oh. Ooh, that looks weird, doesn't it? What a funky graph. Uh, X zero. Uh -uh, something's wrong. X squared minus tan X at X zero. Okay, that, that looks better. Don't know, don't know why it went that way. There we go, there we go. Okay, okay. And then five cot x at pi over four. And pi over four.
There we go. There we go. Uh, yeah. Okay. 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 Um, I think that's fine. That's fine. And I wonder how for the finish. I'm just curious how derive expresses derivatives of like let's say sec x. How does it express express it? Uh, just a sine over cos. So that's tan sec, isn't it? Okay, and then. Um, cosec. Cosec. Cosec, cosec, minus cot cosec. Yeah, and then then cotan. Uh, minus cosec squared. Yeah, okay. Doesn't actually write the way I wrote it, but or how it is at the back. That's fine. Okay, that's good. That's good. We got up to 190. A good start on 3.5. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.